Hi, everyone. Um, so, hello again. Uh, so, you've seen me uh, while doing your Touch for Health, uh, the first part. So, we are going to go through each and every single thing that we learned during that first day and the second day um, in those tiny videos. So, this is an introduction um, and what we went through at the start of the session. And we went through um, touch for health, really. What is it about? Is it, and I don't want to go into many details just because it's every, everything is in your book. So it's from page 10. You can even go through the start and look at more of a history of where it came about, etc. What it comes down to is when I started Touch for Health, I didn't know anything about it. I had bought the, the manual um, in French, um, so it's the French version of it, and I read it and I tried it, and somehow it worked when I didn't actually know how to do a muscle test. <laughs> I never had anyone do a muscle test to me, so it was completely foreign. And I was trying this stuff, and I was trying just putting, uh, doing the neuro um, lymphatics correction during the neurovascular collection um, and it somehow it actually worked because I was doing everything instead of just um, focusing on what needed to be corrected but that's okay but it opened my mind to something that is easy practical and um, applicable to anything and it's just like, wow, I want to know about these things. I want to know how to use this because when I read the manual, and I'm sure that if you try it, if you try reading it from A to Z, you will realize that there's so much stuff in there. There's so much a correction, so much methodology. Sometimes it's only three lines and it's one method of correcting. And when, when it's so new, you just say, okay, I need someone to help. And I got that help. Um, so I got that instruction through Touch for Health, exactly the same way that you're um, getting it from me. And, uh, and I was amazed by how easy it was. I came back on that first weekend and I said, well, now, I know how to do a 14 muscle balance as you go. And it's, it's really cool. You'll see that my partner loved it. Absolutely loved it. Uh, since then, so it was four years ago, since then, so I, I, <clears throat> I had a little baby. So I've been dis redesigning a bit uh, how Touch for Health works so that I could apply it to the baby in a different way in a more you know, um, hands-on kind of way. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm still using it. Um, every, every day I'm using the switch on routine. I'm using um, the 14 muscle uh, balance as you go, especially on babies. I'm using the muscle testing so much um, and self-testing, which I will teach you as well, or you've already been taught, but you will review it in the next few videos so yeah touch for health it was the, the the start to me um of something that i could develop into um a more widespread kind of knowledge or you know to be able to apply it to everything before touch for health i used to have i used to do um foot massage reflex reflexology massage on the feet on the hands and on the face as well using traditional medicine uh traditional chinese medicine sorry so i was already used to the organs um the energetical organs that the traditional chinese medicine um gives to work with and i had already a lot of very very good results doing that and i added to this essential oils and i looked into herbal um, recipes herbal teas um yeah all these things but 
I would never have thought that something would pull along everything I knew already and make it work and make it so easily understandable and to have the bigger picture of what I was dealing with when I was trying to balance. So that's my, my little story. Um, so the, the good thing and the reason why it really, really worked for me is that, so I had, I had that um, accident, right? So I've been through a heck of a lot of different doctors, I've been operated on a few times, and somehow, with pills after pills after pills, I was just like, mm, is there anything else that I could be doing, that I could be preparing myself for that would allow me to reduce these just pills, just um, you know, working on the symptoms, whereas the, the bigger cause was not going to be taken care of. So that's what, um, that's the, the, um, that's the thing behind Touch for Health. That's the theory behind Touch for Health. That's the idea behind it, is that there's more to health than just giving pills. Um, pills may work, but sometimes it doesn't. And the reason why it doesn't is because it's not just one, there's not just one level, there's multi levels that are taking, um, uh, that are got an action to the overall health. So you've got the mental health, you've got the emotional health, the spiritual health, the intellectual health, um, what has come up in your history, what will come up in your future, what, um, what kind of layers. I always like to talk about humans as being onions with multiple layers. And when we are born, we are just a pea. And, and we don't have all those layers. But somehow, with life, with everything coming around, then the layers get constructed and can be an emotional thing that came up, something that resonated in a different way. So it may be that your mom was telling you something and you got it in a, in a way that actually put a layer around yourself. Example, one of the things that I'm dealing with, and I've been dealing with it because um, in still at this time in my life is when I was 12 years old, a lot of my friends, parents were getting divorced. And I was looking at my parents from my you know, 12 year old self. And I was looking at my parents and I was seeing that my mom was a stay at home mom and my father was just, you know, being the breadwinner for the family. I was there at um, the dinner table when my father says, I'm the one um, bringing the money on the table. And I was looking at my mom and somehow I just say, well, there's no way anyone will actually tell me these kind of things. And so I made up a layer around me that I was going to do well at school, that I was going to have a good job, a good paying job that would be financially independent of anyone. And I did. So it did help me do all this. And I went through university and I got, uh, I was top of the class all the time, even though I had migraines. And then I got a career that was high paying and you know, I loved my job, I still love it. It's a part of me that I've developed because I like figures, I like business, I like all these kind of things. And, and when it started not working for me is when I wanted, I started wanting to, you know, set up my own family. And somehow I got one miscarriage. Then 
another one to then finally start touch for health <laughs> and maybe and then i started also you know balancing all these balancing all these energies correcting all these layers and even though i'm still battling through that decision i made when i was 12 years old it's a lot easier because it's not just um it's not just something that i can't work through it's something that will take time because it's been there for so long and uh, but at the end of the day i will get through and i know about it so that's uh, that's what touch for health you know and kinesiology in general um helped me in my development so there's multiple things that you that i've got something a role in in any health imbalances that you are dealing with or your family is dealing with or your um, friends are dealing with if you want to check out the pyramid of health it's in page 10 of your manual um, and I found, so I'm just going to share my screen. I found, hello, ah, uh, yeah, here. Yeah, so I found this uh, on the internet as well. So you've got the mental, emotional, and psychological health, uh, structural and anatomical. So that's, you know, what Touch for Health does with all the muscle testing and the correcting on the spine, etc. So that's a structural correction. And the physiological is more, or uh, biochemical is more about um, what you eat, um, what you do, the type of environment that you are living in. And uh, so you've got the healthy version, and then you've got the unhealthy version. So it can be that you got yourself, you, you've been through too much because you're training for an event or something. And then so you're, you're building, building, building muscles, but you're not eating correctly or your mental health, you're taking that as a way out and not figuring out why you, you want to go and, and, and run and run and run and run and run and run. So we've got an unhealthy triangle that will potentially um, break the balance of health in that person's um, unconscious, conscious, or even the, just the body. So that's what it's about. Um, the triangle of health is what um, is how you live, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and how you make a balance so that the health, your health status, stays the same at optimum level for however long. So there's a lot that can happen. There's a lot that can happen. And that's why sometimes even a death in your family or it's something that come up in your family or something that come up in your, in, your, in your work can disrupt completely your overall um, health triangle. Um, so there's 12 factors uh, into that pyramid. Um, I'm not going to get in there, but um, so you've got, yeah, you've got 12 factors, um, the future, the environment, the history, the context, um, chemical, intellectual, emotional, structural, and more of values, hope, truth, love, and faith. If you lose faith, you're more likely to experience um, reduction in immunity and thus being more sick along the way. What is important to know with Touch for Health is, and with kinesiology in general, is that we do not diagnose, we do not treat, and we do not prescribe. We are only there to make sure that, to support the health of the person that we are balancing. So we are just another factor. So we are just there to help the body of the person that you're dealing with to cope with whatever is going on in there. 
Um, so it's not for us to say, oh, uh, there's something wrong there, and it may be this. Because again, so it's, it's going into um, symptomatic reactions and doing that may or may not um, end up with the right answer. So what you want is just to stay completely removed from this and just balance the person for a better health, for whatever it may be. For instance, when I used to be, um, to do all those foot massage, and I'm still doing it, I could feel where I can feel through the feet what is going on. I can know exactly which organs are um, affected and thus from an energy point of view, which meridian system are affected. I also know that each meridian has a, um, well, so a color, and it, has, it also has an, an emotion attached to it, or more than actually one. So I, I can, I know a lot more about the person when I'm actually touching them and doing a foot massage. The same way that when you do a 14 muscle balance, when you know the systems that unlock, you know a lot more about the person than, than the conscious mind may have told you. And that knowledge needs to stay with you. The reason why it needs to stay with you is that sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, but the 1% is always you know, enough, is that when you start telling stuff to the conscious mind, and the conscious mind is not ready for it, it may well be that they will put another layer just in front of you. So instead of helping, you will not be able to help them anymore. So that's why we do not diagnose, we do not prescribe, and we do not treat people. We help them support, or we help their, their whole system, their overall system to support themselves into a state of health. And that's something that is giving back to them the responsibility to be healthy or the responsibility to put in place what they need to actually get to that state of health. And thus the responsibility is not with us, you know, the balancing people. <laughs> um, so, and that's quite cool in a way because you are not a healer. The person is is very well able to heal themselves on their own. So that's the first thing with Touch for Health. That's a very, very important value. You will hear me say that a lot. We do not treat, we do not diagnose, we do not prescribe. We are only supporting health in a very different way because we're taking all the pyramid of health into consideration while we are muscle testing for health. Okay, so that's one, that's the first introduction um, sessions on the triangle of health and how um, important it is in uh, Touch for Health. Now, the second video will be about muscle testing itself and all the pre tests um, and the, the switch on routine that, um, yeah, that is so helpful in a way. <laughs> that will explain in the next video. Uh, see you soon. Bye.